Today, we're going to go through the process of implementing the 1.8.3 hotfix into the survival game kit and the ALS, so that'd be advanced locomotion system merged versions. If you're using the just plain survival game kit, or perhaps your survival game kit is implemented with something else, you won't want to do this video. This is for the one if you followed the merge videos up to this point, or you've done a merge and somehow you were on 1.8.2. This would be the update video to get you to the 1.83 version. If you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to go to diffusestudios.com and make sure you go to their patch notes section. And on there, they have a list of all the different hot fixes that they've uh, put together since this point. And we will be in the 1.83 hotfix section. Uh, there's three fixes on this. I'd had a little bit of a delay doing this one just because there was a corrupt section uh, or Parts of uh, one of my blueprints were corrupted, and so I had to repair that. Uh, if I'll mention at the time when I get to that part of the video, if you find that yours is corrupted, make sure you leave a comment, uh, and then I will either include a file to fix that, or I will create a video for instructions of how to do that so that you, uh, I just, mine was from the original merge was corrupted. So, uh, so that was something that I had to fix for me to be able to finish this video, and we should be good from here on out. Uh, if you, Want to see more of these videos in the future? Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell on this uh, this video. Also, you can join our Discord. There's a lot of people in there, a lot of helpful information, people that are of like mind, and it's a great place to hang out and discuss game development topics. Also, my Patreon, if you're interested in supporting me financially, and all those funds go towards purchasing future assets. So um, as that builds up, I purchase different things that people request that they'd like videos on and then start working on those. Let's go and get started. First, you need to be inside a survival game kit, ALS merge. You need to make sure that on the map, it says 1.8.2. If this says a, her, a version higher than this or lower than this, uh, you'll need to find the video that works for that version you're on. Um, also at the very end, we'll update this version number so that you can easily know what version you're at. Uh, the first fix, this is something to do with building part destruction. And so we'll need to be in the building component. So on the left-hand side, either select survival game kit or the blueprint section under that but i will just put building component double click and open that and you can see it should take you into a section uh, the part that we will need to be in though is on the upper left here do a search and put delete selected and you'll see a list of delete selected wall delete selected floor stairs we're going to do the wall first and I double click that. This is the section I'm already in. Uh, and here's the part that was corrupted. So about just the left of center, there is a collapsed graph that says delete conditions. For me, this said uh, invalid graph or something like that. Uh, it was pretty much saying it was corrupted and I couldn't, I couldn't work on it. So now you can see I can go in here, double click it, open it up, work with it. Uh, it was not letting me do that. If yours says invalid graph, then make sure that you leave a, a message or come into the Discord would be the most helpful and let me know because uh, I would like to know if other people were experiencing the same thing. If so, we'll get a fix out there for you. But in here, let's go ahead and open up uh, this collapsed graph. And then we're going to add some things to this delete conditions. So at the very bottom, uh, the rest of this should be fine. But at the very bottom where it says delete mode, we're going to drag off of that. And we're going to just drag down below and do an equals equals. And you'll want it to be enum. And then we're going to drop down and there should be a collapsing delete development. Uh, we wanted to check either of these conditions because this is one that's one that he's working on. But from here, we need to do an or. So drag off of the uh, Boolean there, select or, and then if either one of these is true, then that's going to go up into the branch here and decide. So uh, then here's the new one. Here's the old one. We want it to check both. So that should fix the, uh, that should fix that first part with the building uh, uh, destruction. So go ahead and compile and save this. 
And next we're going to be going into the player inventory components. So you can go ahead and close this building component in the filter, search for inventory component. And you want to do the player inventory component. Go ahead and open that up. We need to be in the event graph. So on the upper left, double click event graph, make sure you're there. Let's zoom out. We're going to go to the section, the lower right, that's in red. And then there's one called new client connected. It's at the very top here. Go ahead and zoom in on that. So we got new client connected. And we need to add some nodes to this. So we have an is valid check. And then if it's not valid, we want to do drag off that and do a do n. So you see where it says, so just type do and you see where it says do n. What the n is, is we can set a certain number of times that it does something. That way it doesn't get in a sort of an endless loop. We don't want it just repeating this. It, let's say it can't do this. It, you know, it keeps doing it. it is not valid. We want it to try a certain number of times. We'll have it try 10 times and then we'll delay first between each time. So to, uh, drag off of exit and do delay. And the amount of delay we want to do is half a second. So pretty much this will equal up to five seconds. It'll do 10 half second delays. Uh, and then you want it to go when it's completed, go back to exec. All right. So go ahead and compile and save this. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be still working in this player inventory component. And we need to be in the event graph, go ahead and zoom out here a bit. We need to find client set is bleeding. So you could look through all of these. Uh, and one easy way to do this is just on the upper left, search for client set is bleeding, double click that. And it takes you right to the section that you're at. So you can see here in the center towards the bottom, client set is bleeding. Go ahead and select this and check the reliable box. So uh, that should make it so it's more consistent. Uh, we'll go ahead and compile and save this. And then we will Go back to the menu or to the main showcase level. And we're going to change the version number there really quickly. At this level, go to the side here where it says version 1.8.2. Select the text for 1.8.2. Under details on the right hand side, just change that to 1.8.3. Save that level. And we'll just do a quick test of the building component really quickly. All right seems to be working. So I think that pretty much covers it for this 1.8.3 hotfix. So if you had any issues with that, make sure you leave a comment, come into the discord and, uh, and make a message. Also, if you found this interesting, make sure you do the like subscribe and, and hit the bell on this one. So you get a notification of the next video I do. And I appreciate your support. You guys have been really good about making sure, uh, making sure that you support the channel and you I mean, we've had tons of people jumping into the Discord, and that's been really helpful and encouraging. So thank you very much for being a part of this video, and I will see you all later.